So Max, we're talking all about foundation. I would love to pick your brain. I want to know what's your best advice for someone looking to find their color? Making color choices. I think there's so many kind of advice out there of where you're actually trying it. I mean, I read it, you, people are putting it on the back of their wrist and people are putting it on their decolletage and, and all of these weird and wonderful places. I mean, foundation goes onto your face. And I think don't be afraid to leave the store, right? The lighting in the department store is not the same as the light outside. It can be a little tricky. Generally, the lighting in the department stores or the makeup stores are downlit and then they'll have a makeup mirror which is front lit so you, you'll get you know a lot of shadowing and you won't get an exact true colour because those lights can be a little warm go outside check it outside take a mirror out with you take your phone out with you and do a little selfie it's really good to kind of have have a log of what all the shades look like that you've tried on so that you can go back and have a look at and you've got a little visual diary of what actually works any excuse to take another selfie I'm down for <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> to justify it so what are we looking for what makes a great foundation color match when I'm working with a, a liquid foundation, I will choose a color that exactly matches the skin. The thing about a liquid is that you can blend it into the skin. Um, when I'm choosing uh, a powder foundation, so the Beyond Perfecting Powder Foundation, I choose a color that's probably a half a shade darker than your natural skin. Powder is, is opaque. Um, so when you put it over the entire face, it can look a little light as a whole. So by choosing a color that's slightly darker, it just warms into the skin and, and it looks more natural. Max, can you show me where I should be testing it when I go into a store and try a new color? My favorite area to choose is generally just here to the side of the chin. I think this gives you a really good all over uh, color for the, for the face and it also gives you the opportunity to see how it's going to blend out. So I really, I think we overcomplicate makeup and we overcomplicate foundation. You apply it, it looks great, then it's the right color for you. Don't get caught up in what skin tone you are, or a pink or a yellow or a bronze or whatever it is. Try the foundation on. If it looks great and it's blending out beautifully, you've nailed it. Stellar advice. Thank you very much.